over the last few years, Zomato and Swiggy have been ruling the food deliveries. And in the past few days, we have the government-backed Open Network for Digital Commerce or ONDC. India's ONDC platform is set to be a game changer in the e-commerce space. Yes, so will ONDC's entry cause a disruption in the food delivery space? The average number of daily transactions on the network grew by 23% to 258,000 in February, hinting at the growing popularity of ONDC. ONDC, who is going to explain it? Is it life-changing for anybody trying to build a product in e-commerce? What do you think will happen to ONDC going forward? I think you especially more than all people. So yeah, thanks Nikhil. I can explain that. But before understanding what is ONDC, we should understand why ONDC. To understand ONDC, there are few problems for which ONDC is required. And I will explain you with an recent incident happened with me. So recently I, I wanted to buy a laptop. My older laptop stopped working. So I decided to go for a little more budget for an expensive laptop. <laughs> Windows laptop, which could be a Predator laptop. Anyways, I'm extending my budget. Then why not a MacBook Pro? So the first step is to decide the ideal product, which I have decided. Now the second step is to find the appropriate seller for the laptop. As usual, I started my search from the Amazon. I searched on Amazon. Then I searched on the Flipkart. I found nowhere the particular product that I wanted. Both of the sites had the same product stocked out. Then I extended my search to Chroma and Reliance Digital's website, but also they have the latest model of the MacBook. We all know that the Apple products are very expensive and that's why I decided to buy a three year old MacBook, which I can get at a very hefty discount. So why not an older MacBook? So I wasn't getting my desired product on any of these highly reputed website. So I just Google whatever the specification I wanted in the Google search bar and Google actually showed me all the nearby stores and sellers which are selling the exact same product and there was one seller which was selling the same product at a hefty discount of rupees 1 lakh after clicking i was a bit surprised and as well as felt a little scammy because the website looked very old as per the ui and also the price was a bit scammy but yet i called the seller and got the appropriate price the prices were good then he sent me the location of his physical store. I visited the store and found out the store was so good that my trust was built on the seller. And then I purchased my product from them. So what I want to say that this all purchasing parody have five major issues. This e-commerce is facing these five issues so prominently that the ONDC has to emerge as a technology in the country. So out of these five problems, the first and the most important problem is monopoly. I don't need to explain much on that because we all know that how Amazon and Flipkart are playing a monopoly role in the segment of e-commerce. Whatever you want to buy, you just go to these particular sites, you search, you search in such a way that you try to get a maximum discount as per the relative prices on, the web, on these two, three apps only. Plus the Amazon is a US based company and the Flipkart whose office is in Singapore and recently purchased by the Walmart. So basically it is no more an Indian company. So these companies aren't Indian. That is why Indian government pushes very hard rules on these companies. And that's why these companies try to get profit from different ways. For example, you search something on Amazon and Flipkart and then they show results. So these results are not specific to the customer not ideal for the customer but those more are ideal to the per sellers itself that means the flipkart and amazon these companies are listing those products in the search bar such a way that the top listed products will give them the highest commission and the lowest listed sellers will give them the lowest commissions and this is what the monopoly is because we don't have the competing prices. In my case, I searched through the local vendors and found out that the same product is discounted at 1 lakh rupees of price. And that is why all of this grid has to come on a single platform, which is ONDC. So wait, 
at this point you must be wondering what is ondc is it some kind of new app or new website or is it uh, like other flipkart amazon or zomato like kind of app but no it is not so we can directly compare ondc with ubi what ubi did to the online digital payments ondc can same do with the online e-commerce shopping that means all of your online window shopping that could be flipkart amazon zomato swiggy flipkart everything will be under the one platform that can be consumed by any other app like ptm google or anything else that you can imagine just like the upi how google ptm phone bay has integrated the upi platform into their platform and hence we can call upi more like a pass which is platform as a service and same ondc can be called as pass platform as a service and luckily at the time of recording this video Paytm has recently integrated the ONDC service on the platform and hence we can see how does it looks. Now I can quickly open the Paytm app and now uh, just go to search and search for the ONDC. So see we are getting all the services ONDC food, ONDC grocery and everything at this. Let's compare the prices because everyone is saying that ONDC will be much cheaper than the regular online apps that we are still currently using. So let's check. I can see Burger King is open right now. So let's see, compare, let's compare the prices on the Burger King. So I can, I quickly clicked on the Burger King uh, restaurant from the ONDC through the Paytm app. And now let's see, uh, Chicken Whopper Junior Double Patty, which, which is listed at 129 rupees uh, on this app. Let's go to Swiggy. Let's so Burger King. Now the Burger King is open and let's compare the particular chicken. Whopper Junior. So see, Chicken Whopper Junior is listed at 189 rupees, and on, on and the same item is listed at 129. So uh, let's compare to, uh, one or two more. So some uh, let's see Veg Whopper. Let's see Veg Whopper. So Veg Whopper Double Patty is listed at 229 on Swiggy, and same is 129 on ONDC through the Paytm ONDC integration. So you can clearly see, you can save hundreds and hundreds of rupees on this. This is just an example. I'm trying this at late night at 3 a.m. in the morning. That's why I'm not able to show you many more options. But you, you got the idea, right? So the line uh, I said, what UPI did to the online payments, ONDC can do the same to the e-commerce market. And e-commerce has 95% of potential left in the market. And hence ONDC can be a very, very futuristic technology that will originate from the India just like you be at it. So back to the remaining problems that I was explaining. But now you got the idea what ONDC is. Let's quickly see those remaining problems. Now the second problem is the inflated prices. So at this point, even if you are getting a little bit of value, then please consider liking this video because this is going to help me a lot, a lot. And also at this point, I have just showed you how ONDC is going to save you a lot of money. So this point is already explained how ONDC is going to save us a lot of money. So moving on to the third point on our list, which is the logistic and supply chain. For this, I have one more incident which has happened recently for one of my parcels. I was trying to return this parcel from two weeks and delivery partner is scamming me with the random phone calls to reschedule my delivery. And yet after rescheduling again and again, they never came. But why this is a problem? So understand this, the companies which we follow, the e-commerce site, same Amazon, Flipkart, etc. companies. These companies get commissions not only from the products that they are selling, but also from the deliveries that they are making. Even though they have completely outsourced delivery through the different delivery partners, but still they earn a hefty commissions on that. But on the ONDC, you can just not only select the appropriate product that you want at appropriate price from appropriate seller, but also you can choose the appropriate seller for that. Yes, you can choose a delivery partner based on your needs such that when the delivery is going to arrive, how much it is, it is going to cost you and what city it is going to cater. Right. Based on all the conditions, you can select your delivery partner as well, your product and yes this everything will be customized and you will gonna end up saving lot of lot of money in this process now coming to the fourth problem which is actually the ondc is completely based on this actual issue so you have recently seen that how the e-commerce market has grown in the india how rapidly people are started purchasing from the e-commerce website and how rapidly the instagram ads instagram websites t-shirt selling everything is growing in india but you know what 
it is still a company is only 5.71 percent of the total market so you can see there is almost a 95 percent of potential left in this market to grow so seeing this e-commerce potential the government of india decided to invest in this huge technology which is ondc which is going to cover most of the market suppose for example it manages to cover the 25 percent market share that means e-commerce market share has grown from 5 percent to 25 which is almost five times surge in the market right so the e-commerce has grown in the urban area as a rapid pace but the rural area has left behind and these companies are not going to focus on rural area because these rural area areas are not going to serve them a well profit as compared to the investments and at least on the paper it is going to grow at a rapid pace but yeah this is still on the paper so we are not sure how many companies are going to enroll and how many sellers are going to enroll on that and how many buyers are going gonna buy from this network now here comes the final problem which is the fifth problem the data privacy yes uh, initially i told you these are all american companies and uh, data privacy is becoming a very huge issue so the government of india can't uh, completely control the data privacy on these uh, from these companies when they come to these network the overall traffic from their original websites and apps will start to reduce and people will start to search and use this ondc just like the upi I recently explained you india is a growing nation and if we are positive about the india's growth then we should be positive about the ondc success as well and suppose ondc started to grow then more and more number of companies will start to enroll on that network and more and more number of customers will start to get benefit from it so these were the problems that ondc is catering all about now we understand why ondc is required okay again here we are at the end of our video and at this point we have discussed most of the things related to the ondc but we have only discussed the positive and the uplifting part of the ONDC. No one actually knows how ONDC is going to turn out. Neither even the creators of the ONDC have the full picture at this point. So how it is going to catch up with the time, how it is going to catch up with the audience and most importantly how it is going to catch up with the already existing e-commerce websites because they don't want to lose their brand integrity and if they see a, even a little bit of a threat to the existing uh, supply demand model then of course they are going to crash out from the ONDC network and then ONDC could list amongst biggest disastrous projects in the country. Let's hope all these big companies come together for the sake of customers profit and hope ONDC should be a win-win situation not only for the customers but also for the sellers. So let us know what do you think about ONDC and till then goodbye and please do like the video.